the difference between thinning your oil-based paint out with terps and thinning it out with Panatrol and thinning it out with another product which you probably never have heard about to thin paint out with is with G'day everybody. Two years ago I was going to do a video on the difference between thinning your oil-based paint out with terps and thinning it out with Panatrol and thinning it out with another product which you probably never have heard about to thin paint out with is with diesel. Diesel being the fuel for your truck or four wheel drive. And I'm just uh, rooting around in my truck and I found the three bits of timber that I did two years ago. Now I didn't write a date on it, but I know it's two years ago. This is the three bits of timber that I painted. Now it was with oil-based paint. They've all been treated the same, just in the back of the toolbox of the truck, uh, where all my XX stock is. We've got diesel, Panatrol, and pure oil-based paint. Now this was pure white paint um, that had never been tinted. So that's what it looks like. You'll see the yellowing that's happening on that. Now that's been, like I said, inside the back of the truck. It's, it's just been in there, knocked around. So it's really been out of the light. So that's the pure oil-based one with no terps or no nothing on. So a bit thick, nice sheen, very strong. As you can imagine, scratch-wise, amazing. This is one with Panatrol in it, okay, 10% we're talking about, so that's one with Panatrol, you notice that one there is actually, you might be able to see it, but I can see it, it seems to be a little bit whiter for some reason, I thought it was yellower, but it's actually whiter, now this one here is the diesel, alright, now I always assumed that diesel would wreck your paint, and it'd be soft or anything like that. You notice this one here doesn't seem to have as many marks on it. So whether it's more mark resistant, I'm not sure. It was just sitting in a different area. Uh, and they're really not sitting, they're just, they're, they've been knocked around. They haven't been babied. Basically what I've worked out from this is if you thin your paint with terps, um, it's all good, 10%. If you thin it with diesel, which runs this truck, guess what? It makes no difference whatsoever. The paint is still really hard. It's still got its own color in it. It's still got its shine. That's the pure paint. Let's just check out the shine on it. Penetrol. That Penetrol is actually seems to have a bit more of a shine diesel pretty good too no no problems at all so basically what I'm saying is if you get into a bit of a fix and you run out of um, terps that you need to thin your paint down with you can use diesel uh, it works fine there's no if buts or maybes and the reason why I suspected something about diesel with the oil-based paint is one day my worker accidentally put diesel in the oil-based paint when he was working and I rang the um, the paint people up they got onto their chemist they said no problems won't hurt anything so that made me a bit suspicious because I would never imagine that you could put diesel in I thought the um, paint would go soft or wouldn't dry or something like that but it works fine it has no problems whatsoever and to be honest with you um, you could probably put it in as just like Panatrol. So I'd like to do a test on it. If you got some diesel and some paint, painted some rusty tin, and just painted it in normal oil-based paint, I think you'd find the diesel would, would beat, beat the Panatrol. I always sort of suspected... Yeah, I know. I know. These conspiracy theories, but that is a thought. Have a think about it.